Hey guys, so I thought I would film a video today. Um, for those of you who regularly watch my channel, you know that I'm pregnant. Um, haven't been doing a lot of videos lately just because it's been hard trying to find time that I feel good, um, I'm not exhausted, and that my hair's done and I look presentable, I guess, is the point. I do work full time, and although my job is mostly a desk job, it's still, you know, it's hard to, it's, it's hard when your body is just carrying around an extra 35 pounds or so um, to feel good all the time. So anyways, I'm, I'm not used to having to move so slowly and go so slowly about my life, but that's what's going on right now. This is actually my January empties. It is like the last day of February today. Um, so I'm really behind, but I wanted to go ahead and do it. I wanted to keep it separate, and I also thought it would be a good time. I didn't have very many, so I thought it would be a good time to kind of give anybody who's interested a pregnancy update. Okay, so I'm 34 and a half weeks pregnant, but um, I am having like crazy Braxton Hicks contractions, um, very frequent. <sighs> I don't know exactly, I haven't been counting, so I have no idea, 10, 10 to 15 a day, like just moments where my stomach is just tight, hard as a rock, I feel like a bodybuilder, um, I feel like I have the best abs in the world, and <laughs> I do not have good abs right now, I have a big basketball belly. Um, so according to my understanding of what my doctor told me, um, I think that Braxton Hicks contractions when they're really strong like that and really frequent and regular can actually cause you to go into labor. I'm at 34 and a half weeks so as of right now the baby's pretty much developed. All the like major scary stuff is kind of out of the way. They want me to get to 37 weeks. Um, they really want you to get to 40. So basically my doctor gave me something to relax. I'm supposed to be relaxing. Um, because I work a, a main, mainly desk job, I'm supposed to just, I'm allowed to still be working and stuff, but to basically just take it easy if I'm start having contractions and stop what I'm doing. One of the things that really makes me start having contractions is walking. So like walking from the parking lot to the car, um, <laughs> really sets me off. Yeah, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to have a baby, I guess. So I can't believe how fast it went. It's been crazy. I know I haven't updated you guys a lot on it, but you know, I've just, it's like I've been so busy and I do, I do like I said, I do work full time. So it's hard for me to add in a whole extra topic of stuff on the channel. <sighs> But, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm really in shock. As far as, you know, being early or whatever, um, my doctor's like, you know, we're, we won't stop you. We don't really want you to go into labor right now, but at this point in the game, we don't try to stop you or do anything um, to prevent that. You'll just go to the hospital and have the baby if he decides to come. Um, However, mommy is not ready. We are waiting to have our showers and things before buying a bunch of stuff. So literally I have a crib, a pack and play. I ordered a nursery chair that hasn't got here yet. Um, and that's like what we have. I have like some onesies and stuff that people have just kind of randomly given us. But yeah, that's literally what we have. Um, I had my first shower today. Work threw me a shower. so. Um, that was fun. We did like a luncheon type shower today. And that was a lot of fun, but, um, so now I have a couple, I have some diapers and some wipes and things. That I, I literally, I didn't have any diapers, I didn't have any wipes. I just didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff and not know what I need. You know, I just don't want to buy a bunch of stuff and then people get me the same things. Um, I feel like, you know, you have Amazon two day shipping, you have... All you know, I have people that can run out and get me stuff. So yeah, other than feeling completely unprepared, you know, at work and at home, I have some work projects that I was thinking, you know, I'd have a whole other month to work on. Now I'm like, oh no, I have to get these done now. So <laughs> I, I could really use this next two weeks. Um, but 
you know, we'll see. And then that was the other thing the doctor explained to me is that just because I'm doing this right now, just because I'm having these contractions, these things right now, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go into labor soon. I could go way well past my due date. There's no like hard and fast signs or tells that tell you that you're going to have a baby. I'm not a doctor, so anything I said, take with a grain of salt because I, this is based on, like I said, my understanding of an explanation that I got and you know how that goes. You don't always hear, you, sometimes you hear what you want to hear. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that is that scenario. Um, let me get on to the empties and I don't have that many. I really went hard in December trying to finish off some things. So January was kind of like meh, a little bit of leftover type items. Um, these are, this first one is Bare Minerals Purifying Facial Cleanser. I actually really liked this. It was funny, it smelled like alcohol, so I was like, oh, this is going to be so drying. And it does have a little bit of alcohol in it, but it really was nice. I found it to be a very balanced, um, I found it to be a very balanced face wash, and I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued, so that kind of sucks, but I did like that a lot. Um, this is the Cetaphil Gentle Cleansing Bar. Love these, talk about them all the time. I wash my brushes and I wash my face. This is the African Formula Sulfur Soap. Love this one as well. Um, it's just a sulfur treatment. If you're into sulfur treatments and you find that sulfur really helps with your acne, this is so good and it's only $3 and it's just a face wash. I don't find it particularly drying. I think it's like pretty balanced. Um, obviously it's in a bar. Um, so yeah, I really like this. It seems to kind of help clear up breakouts faster. I have two little lush things. This is a sample of Sexy Pill Soap. I don't really like Sexy Pill Soap. It smells really nice. It's lemony and it's singy and yeah, but I just find it kind of drying. I don't really like it. Um, never mind the Ballistics Bath Bomb. I loved this and then I went and looked. I don't know if it was limited edition or what, but it's not on the website. So I really enjoyed that one. That was probably one of the better bath bombs that I've had. So I liked that. Um, it smelled very fruit punchy. I, I really liked it. Um, but can't get it anymore. Well, I'm sure maybe they'll come back out with it at some point. But anyways. Primal Pit Paste Deodorant. I use these all the time. I still love it. Um, it's just a good natural deodorant option. Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. This actually expired, um, was set to expire on February 15th of this year, so I hurried up. I had like, using it as a conditioner, I had used like that much of it. Um, I do like this, but I find that I don't need conditioner with the Shea Moisture shampoos that I absolutely love. I just, I don't need conditioner with those. They're moisturizing enough on their own, so this was just kind of sitting there not getting used. I decided to use it as a shave cream, and I freaking loved it as that. So I'm thinking, after I use up some more products and stuff, I'm thinking that I will always keep one of these on hand. Um, maybe not necessarily this particular one. This was, maybe not this particular one, but keep a Shea Moisture Conditioner on hand and double and use it as a shave cream and as a conditioner. Um, they're affordable enough to me and they go slowly enough as a shave cream that I felt like it would be nice just to have one product instead of two and I liked this better than any shave cream I've ever used. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm thinking about just paring down to one product, having the one product and that'd be it. Okay, I have two little foils from Ula Henriksen. Um, this first one I did not like. It's the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I've actually used this before. I've used it in a deluxe sample. Um, and it's not a bad product, but it does clog my pores, so I can't use it. I can use it like once a week, maybe. I don't feel like it's that effective for me to get to only use once a week, so that's a no-buy for me. Um, the Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Treatment, however, I use this. I got three uses out of it and I have already repurchased it. I was like, okay, I can't live without this. I usually don't expect my foil samples to give me much indication of what the product's going to do for my skin. I feel like it's more like 
is this product going to break me out type situation. Um, but I swear my skin looked so good after using this like the first night and then I used it again and I was like, whoa, and I used it again and I was really impressed. And so I was like, I have to buy this now. The only thing that kind of worries me is that this is not on Sephora's website. This is only on the, only available on the Ula Henriksen website. So I'm like, please don't tell me you're about to discontinue it because oh my gosh, that is the bomb. It really helped hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, um, helped to brighten. It's silicone free. I think it's oil free. If it has any oils in it, it's very light. It doesn't, it's light on the oil. It doesn't have um, a lot of oils in it. But yeah, it doesn't break me out at all, it doesn't clog my pores, and it makes my skin look good. And I like it. <laughs> Bare Skin Pure Brightening Foundation. I go through these all the time. I talk about them all the time. I like this foundation. It works well for my acne prone skin. Clean and Care Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. I used this, the majority of this last like summer. And I thought I really liked it. But I think it was actually clogging my pores. I just have noticed that like recently after I quit using it every single day and then I started using it occasionally. I was like, oh yeah, this was um, clogging my pores a little bit. So no for me on this, but if you don't have issues with um, silicone or anything or products like this clogging your pores, I really, really appreciated that this wasn't overly drying. This was one of the least drying spot treatments I have ever used in my entire life. And that part of it was great. But yeah, I don't think it's a repurchase for me. Living Proof Style Love Instant Texture Mist. Um, I actually like this. I, I hate Living Proof products most of the time. They just don't work for me. Um, I used this as a root volumizer. I did not use it in the manner that it says to. I think it's just a, it's like a more of a scrunch type spray. I didn't like it that way. I didn't really care for it in that manner. I'm actually planning on repurchasing this though. I'm probably just going to get the small like travel size for the time being just to make sure that I really do like it. But I really think I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So yay. There's a first time for everything. Um, next I have Glam Glow Super Mud Treatment. I really did like this. Um, I was impressed. I think this is the first mask I have actually used from Glam Glow. I've kind of just stared away from them because honestly in my head I just, there was no way I was going to pay $70 for a mask. Um, I just didn't see it, you know, and I just don't see it and I still don't see it. I really enjoyed this product. I thought it was nice. I thought that it was very balanced. I didn't think it was over drying. I thought that, you know, it did a good job of keeping my pores clean, cleared out. But at the end of the day, it was still just a clay mask. Um, it had some like little specks of tea, I think, tea leaves in it. And that actually annoys me more than impresses me. Um, I don't know. I don't like the little tea leaves on my face or whatever. but. Yeah, so I don't know. I like I loved it and I would be happy to get samples and stuff of it, but there's no way I would ever spend $70 on it. And lastly, I just have this Aloe Soothing Day Cream from the Body Shop. I just used this on my chest. I didn't so I won't even like really review it. I just used it on my chest. It was a very light moisturizer. Um you know, nothing overly spectacular. It was just a nice daytime, what you would expect from a daytime moisturizer, I think. Just kind of light and absorbent and yeah. Yeah, so that was my January empties. Um, didn't have a lot. <laughs> it wasn't really that interesting. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the update on my little baby and myself and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.